Hello everyone, I'm Brittany and this is my YouTube channel where I like to discuss horror movies. Although it's been a while since my last upload, I wanted to just have a casual chat about a new horror movie called Sister Death. Sister Death was directed by Paco Plaza. This was actually released last year in October, but I only recently got around to actually watching it. This serves as a prequel to the film Veronica, and I'll be honest that Sister Death actually disturbed me more than Veronica. So keep that in mind. You don't necessarily have to watch either movie before the other, but there is a character that is in both movies. So this stars Aria Bermar, who is a Spanish actress and dancer. She's so beautiful, by the way. She plays a novice in this movie named Sister Narcisa. This movie already starts off in a really interesting and mysterious kind of way. We see Sister Narcisa as a little girl practically being worshipped and prayed to when she was really little by, I guess, the village that she lived in and everyone seemed to believe that she was the holy girl and has spiritual powers. When she gets older, she is invited to teach at an all-girls school which used to be a convent that was attacked during a past war. Three sisters remained from the original convent and that is actually pretty important. And these sacred grounds actually hold a really dark secret. I'd also like to give you a warning for SA. I myself didn't even know that was a part of this movie when I watched it, so I was pretty shocked. So things are getting very tense and Sister Narcisa has a disagreement with another sister and she decides to leave during a solar eclipse. And this is when she actually looks into it. In this moment, she does lose her sight, but she's able to actually see the truth of what has been trying to come out all along. There is a sister, Sakura, who was pretty much kept a secret. No one really wants to talk about her or anything. And we get to see what really happened to her. So during that war in the past, sister Sakura was actually brutally attacked and assaulted. This resulted in a pregnancy which all the other sisters wanted to keep secret from everyone else. One day sister Sakoro's daughter actually became really ill and she wanted to take her to the hospital to see a doctor but the sisters refused to let her out the building at all so this resulted in them locking sister Sakoro in her room and then taking the girl from her. By doing this they accidentally unalived the little girl and this led to Sister Sakoro unaliving herself. In the end though, Sister Narcisa uses her special abilities to set Sister Sakoro's spirit free and reunite with her daughter once again. Now usually religious horror movies can kind of be a hit or miss, but this one has some of the creepiest moments I've seen in a very long time. You could almost compare this movie to some of the nun films, but I would say this goes very in a much darker place. I'd also like to point out that this movie never feels cheesy or anything. The tone always remains very serious and honestly rewatching this for the second time made the whole movie make a lot more sense to me so don't feel bad if you don't get everything on the first go. If you enjoyed Veronica then I would say you should definitely give this a watch but just be sure to watch with caution of course. Overall, this entire movie felt really haunting and heartbreaking. It also kind of reminded me of The Others, very like mysterious and supernatural. Let me know if you've seen this movie yourself already and what were your thoughts on this. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe because there will be in future videos.